Everybody having fun so far? Yeah! Good. I'm gonna put a stop to that crap. <laughs> settle down, settle down, everybody. Hi, hi. Uh, welcome to Givers Anonymous. My name's Harold, and I'm, uh, I'm a habitual giver. Uh, if this is your first meeting, don't be embarrassed, because uh, your problem is one we all share. We're uh, givers, and uh, this being the Christmas season... That's the toughest time! I know, it's, it's really hard on all of us. There's just so much we want to give, and to so many. Well, it's okay to give from the heart, but it shouldn't cost an arm and a leg. Amen! Amen. And, and it doesn't have to. There's Skillers. Skillers has great gifts, nice toys for the kids, small appliances like a hair dryer, cards, wrapping, all kinds of great gifts, and you don't go broke, because at Skillers, the big difference is value. So when you get that urge to give, remember, no matter where you live, there's a Skillers close by. So give, but give from Skillers. Hey, hey, hey! a boy, Harold! Beautiful! Yes, sir! That's a great gift. That's Skillers, Harold. They say it's tough in Hollywood, you won't get very far For every star a thousand broken hearts You'll hang around those studios and try to get a start That one big break, hit song or meaty part I think the very first mistake is shooting for the top To want to see your name on the marquee Cause entertainment nightly is how I've been billed for years Continuous no cover, yes, that's me, and that's why I'm going to try for the middle, to go halfway be adequate so-so. Yes, I'm going to shoot for the middle, because that way it's not very far to go. To make it fair, be up there with the passable, Fats, Wozniak, Al Skidmore, and the rest. To go up against the folks that are surpassable And not compete with those that are the best Ah, yes, folks I'm gonna go halfway Be mediocre, average, and fair So you're gonna hear from me, baby Cause I And I toured with uh, big names at the time. This is like early 70s. I toured with, uh, let's see, uh, Righteous Brothers. Remember that? You never close your eyes anymore. And then I toured with, um, let's see, Glenn Yarbrough for a while. His big hit was, Baby, the ring must fall. <laughs> and I like Glenn. I toured with a bunch of other groups whose names I forgot. Uh, Friends of Distinction. Remember them? I can dig it. You can dig it. We can dig it. He can dig it. They can dig it. Can you dig it? And uh, <laughs> that's it. A little choreography that I do. <laughs> you do a lot better with my cork wedgies on. But, um, but, but we did this tour of one-nighters, you know, and a lot of people think that's a fun, exciting life. At first, it kind of is. It pays real good. That's why most comics do it. But uh, after like five years of being on the road for eight months a year doing one-nighters, it's like a blur. People think you see the whole country. You don't. I mean, all you do is you get up in the morning, you go out to the airport, jump on the plane, but then I want it yet clear for takeoff. <laughs> Coffee, tea, milk, scotch. <laughs> <laughs> two hours later, Roger, request landing permission. Click <laughs> Sano, runway three, two left. <laughs> You jump off a plane, you, know, you grab your luggage, you run over, you sign up for the car, throw the luggage in the car, drive over to the motel, <laughs> sign up for the motel room, throw the luggage in the room, go eat dinner. <laughs> you know, got in, back in the room, get cleaned up. You're cheating, whore. You know? and you, yeah. <laughs> so you jump in your clothes, drive over to the job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, comedian George McKelvey, ha ha, thank you very much. Back in the car. <laughs> you know? Look for chicks, no chicks. <laughs> 
So you get smashed, you know, next morning, <laughs> coffee, tea, and milk, scotch. <laughs> you know, I do that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> Really, really, that's really what it's like, you know. You get off the plane after a tour like that, somebody comes up and says, Hi, George, how was your tour? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant Richard Morse, who will hear me recite once only all the features you'll find at no extra cost on the four-door Datsun 510. If you fail to repeat all these features, you're going to fall into this tank filled with water, seaweed, and chicken feathers, okay? Okay, here goes. Dotson's standard features include front disc brakes, overhead cam engine, tinted glass, white side wall tires, independent rear suspension, and reclining front bucket seats. You have 15 seconds now. Overhead cam engine. Right. Front disc brakes. Right. White white walls. White walls. Come on. And, uh, you have four seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Morris, you forgot tinted glass and independent root suspension? Sorry, too late. However, for being such a great sport here today... Drive with Dotson, then decide.